Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Shanai from True Focus Eye Care. Now, even before we lived in a world where wearing masks were mandatory, we had patients all the time ask us, how can you keep your glasses from fogging up? And now foggy vision is almost a multiple times a day thing. Oh man, let me see if I can fix that. All right, that's better. So we're gonna try five different products that I found on Amazon that advertises that it's supposed to take the fog out of your glasses. So today, let's talk about anti-fog. So I chose five products on Amazon that advertises that it gets the fog or keeps the fog off of your glasses. So we must remember that moisture is naturally produced when we breathe. So expecting no moisture at all on that lens is not very realistic. Just like if I buy Rain-X for my car window, if I go in the rain, my window is going to get wet. Now, will I be able to see better and safer while I'm driving? Yes. So I'd like to thank our sponsors. All right, so what I'm looking for is something that defogs quickly and provides clear vision. Now, I've seen a lot of products out there that makes it look like it's not fogging up, but when you actually look through that lens, it looks like you're looking through an oil slick. So I'm trying to find something that still remains clear. Now I'm gonna test out these five products that I found on Amazon. Let's get started. Now the first product that I'm gonna test out today is this one. Now the people who made this got a little creative with the name. So because I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old and I really don't want them to repeat what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call this the red stuff. But if your kids don't know how to read, this is what it's called. <laughs> okay. Now I'm not gonna go through the ingredients list of every single product we have, but if you are curious to know what's in there, then look in the description below, I'll have it listed out for you. So all the products are very similar in their instructions where we apply a small amount onto the lens, just enough to coat it. Some say let it dry and some say wipe off right away, and then we see if it works. For this product, I'm actually gonna use my Q-tip to take a little bit out because we're trying to stay sanitary. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now I know someone's gonna ask me this in the comments, but does it smell? No, it doesn't smell bad, okay? It doesn't smell good, but it doesn't smell bad. So let me go ahead and start. So I'm gonna use this lens and I do have it labeled as one so I don't get them confused. But I'm gonna take just a little bit out like it said, just enough to coat the lens. Now I'm actually gonna put it on my finger because the instruction does say to use your finger to wipe it on the lens. I think it's because the finger, the warmth of the finger will melt the product just enough to coat the lens. So I'm gonna put that on the side and let's try this. Now this one does not say that you have to let it dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe it off now I have a microfiber cloth here, and I have a, it's a really big microfiber cloth, so I'm gonna make sure that I don't use the same side for each lens so I don't cross-contaminate. And then it says to buff out. All right, so there we go. That was pretty easy. So now I'm gonna test it out and see how it does. Pretty darn good. Not bad. I like it. All right, that worked pretty well. So looking through that lens, it still looks pretty clear. I see a little bit of moisture on that lens, but it's really not bad and it's actually just drying off as I speak. So for number one, the red stuff, it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and try the next one. So now I'm gonna try the second product, which is called Z Clear. All right, it's not only just an anti-fog, but it also has an anti-static and an anti-scratch filler. Now the only difference that this one has in instructions than the red stuff is that after we apply it on the lens, we're supposed to let it dry. So we'll see how much time that takes and then we'll buff it off when we're done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to our lens. All right, it really doesn't want you to do much. They said if you see uh, blue on your finger, then that's too much. This is a white Q-tip, so we're gonna make it happen. All right. All right, now we need to let it dry. So we wait. All 
All right, <laughs> that took a little longer than I expected. And sorry, sometimes it gets a little crazy in here. Okay, so it does take a little time to dry, which is it's not terrible as long as you can see without your glasses or if you, maybe you have an extra pair of glasses at home. So now we're supposed to take the microfiber cloth and buff this out until it's nice and clear. So I did turn the side so we're no longer using the red stuff um, side of the wipe. So that looks pretty good, nice and clear. So, so far I have not had any products that scratched my lenses, um, which I'm happy about because some of the other products that we've tried in the past actually caused scratches, small scratches on the lenses. So, and I, don't haven't, and I haven't seen that yet so far. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out and see how it works. Same thing, works pretty darn good. All right, so it worked pretty well in the beginning, but what I noticed was that there was still a little moisture on that lens when I finished, and it was taking a little time to come off, so I kind of gave it a quick wipe with the cloth, and when I tried the fog again, where I wiped, it actually started fogging really quickly in that area. So I would imagine with each one of these products, the more you apply it as you go along, the better it'll work, but at least for this one, after I wiped it just once, it already started fogging pretty quickly. So, so far the red stuff is still in first place. And now the third product that we're gonna try is Z-Clear. It's just like the one that we had before, except this is in a spray form. Now this is supposed to be a little less concentrated than what we have in here. So I don't really have too high a hopes for this one since this one already started coming off after that first wipe. Now the only difference between this and the paste is that after I spray this on and wipe it on the lens, I don't have to wait to let it dry. I can just wipe it off. So let's give it a shot. All right, so that was pretty easy. So let's go ahead and test it out. It's pretty good. So it really wasn't too bad, but it was very similar as the paste where you could see a small film of that moisture looking through the lens. And I still kind of notice it there. So what I'm afraid of is after I now wipe that film off, I'm pretty much gonna lose the ability of that anti-fog again, okay? So both of these, I would say they're pretty much tied in second place and the red stuff is still number one. All right, now the fourth product is our last spray and this is called Fog Gone. Again, you can find the descriptions of all these things in the show notes below. Now this stuff is very similar as the last spray where we do spray it and using a soft cloth, we use circular motions to uh, take all the product off of the surface. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, again, pretty easy. So let's try it out. Um, so this one, unfortunately, is not good at all. All right, so this one, I would say, is probably the worst one out of all that we have tried, okay? Now, why do I say that? It looks like it doesn't fog, but this is similar to what I was talking about before, where it looks like it's not fogging, but it creates this film over the lens that it's actually really hard to see through. So whether you have the fog or the film, you're not gonna like either one. So far, I would say this would be in last place. And let's try our last one. Now, this is a gel. This is called Spit, okay? Again, another one that they got a little creative with the name. So Spit Anti-Fog, and a lot of these are advertised for diving masks. So it says a long-lasting gel formula, uh, use a BB size, drop and it's eco-friendly made in the u.s works on glass and plastic which is pretty great because there's a lot of uh, sunglasses out there that are made out of glass and if this works better than these other products for that then great so let's give it a shot
So it says, apply it to the, over the entire thing by rubbing it in with your fingers. And then this one, we do need to let it air dry. So I'm gonna put it down. Let's let it dry. All right, so that should be long enough. It still doesn't look completely dry, but I don't know if it will. I think I probably put way too much, so I might try a second go at this, but I think that's long enough that it's really been able to penetrate the lens. It's actually kind of tacky right now, so I think that's probably plenty of time. So let me go ahead and wipe that off now. So let's go ahead and try and see how it fogs up. Pretty good. Yeah, like the little specks that I see. All right, so this one actually worked pretty darn close to the red stuff, okay? So I would say it didn't fog up very much. The film that was on the lens actually uh, dried up pretty quickly, so I would say that's a pretty successful test. So at this point, I would still consider as the red stuff as number one, spit as number two, Z clear as three, Z clear spray as four, and the anti fog gone spray as number five in last place. So I hope this video was helpful. We're gonna try more videos like this with other anti-fog products, some that are advertised and some that are just home remedies. So if you like this video and you got something out of it, then please give it a like and give it to a friend that you may hear complain about fogging glasses so they can see how to help get their glasses back to clear. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so you get notified anytime we make another video. I hope you have a great week. Stay clear, stay focused, and I'll see you next week.